Hi, I'm Anand Chaudhary from John F. Kennedy Middle School, and in this video, I want to talk about how to find the determinant of a 4x4 matrix. So, let's get started. Finding the determinant of a 4x4 matrix is a little bit more difficult than finding the, de the determinant of a 3x3 or a 2x2, but you're going to need some steps of how to find the 3x3 determinant in this. So, let's just get started. So the first thing you want to do with this matrix is you want to do a little plus minus checkerboard pattern. So you're going to start off by drawing a little positive sign near the negative two. You're going to go diagonal with this positive sign. Okay. Then what you want to do next is you want to put a negative sign on the second row in the second number of the column. Okay. Then you go diagonal with that. Then you just do this and make it alternating. So it's positive, negative, positive, negative. Make sure it's like that for all rows except alternating. So now it's positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Um, then basically it's a checkerboard pattern with positive and negative signs. So next, what you wanna do is you wanna find the row or column with the most zeros with the most zeros. So I can see that our third column has the most zeros in it, and that's the column we're gonna use to expand on. So let's just put on, let's just, so we have our first number in this column, and what you, what you basically wanna do is you wanna cancel out the column it's in right now, and the row it's in. It's for a little good cause, and I'm doing this lightly so you can see what I mean. So you can see that I made, I crossed out the first row and then crossed out the column it's in. It's in It's in this row and it's in this column, so I canceled it out. Next, what I want to do is I want to write this. This positive sign basically means if you're multiplying a positive one or a negative one by it. So basically, it's a positive, so I'm going to be multiplying a positive one by three. So it's going to be one times three, and then I'm gonna multiply this by a matrix that is found in between the place that it's not crossing. So you can see that if I were to take this out, the, the place I took, the place I crossed out out, you'll see that I'll have nine numbers that are in a form of a matrix. So basically I'm gonna write those nine numbers down in the order it's in already, and that's gonna form a three by three matrix. So it's basically gonna be minus three, positive one, and when you're writing this down, you don't have to care about the negative and positive signs. Four, negative two, one, negative one, three, one, and minus two. That is the matrix that you can see through here. So now you're just gonna do this with everything in this column, and so it's, it's, gonna, it's looking the exact same way here, except you're just gonna be crossing out the second row this time, and you can have this one open. So basically now this cross is crossing out this column because this zero is in this column and it's crossing out this row because this zero is in this row. So basically you're gonna do the exact same steps except one thing you should realize now and you should be smart enough to do is a negative one times zero is already equaling zero. So if it already equals zero and you're multiplying this zero by the matrix, it's kind of already zero. So you don't need to go through the pain of writing this whole new matrix and multiplying and stuff. So you could just write plus zero because that's all you're multiplying the matrix by and the final answer would be zero. So then you put another plus sign after that. You do the exact same thing with the other things, with the other numbers in the column. So basically you cross out this column again, you cross out this row, you're gonna get positive one times positive four, and then you can write the other matrix. So the other matrix would be two, one, negative three, one, negative two, no, oops, not negative two, my, my bad. So it's, it's negative one, because it's here, three, and these three numbers here. So it'll be zero, four, and negative two. And as you can see, the last number is also zero, so I can just write plus zero. Don't need to go through the stress of drawing another matrix and then 
other multiplication problem. So now, what we want to do is we want to simplify this by, so first thing we can do is just cancel out these zeros because they're just going to be a pain in the butt anyway. It's just taking up space. And next thing you want to do is you want to multiply this by the new matrix. So if I quickly do it, I'm just multiplying this value by everything in the matrix. Minus 9, positive 3, 12, negative 6, negative 3, positive 3, 9, um, positive 3, and negative 6. See, that's the first matrix we're given. Put down the plus sign because nothing ever happened to it. And then you multiply 4 by everything in this. So it'll be 8. It'll be 4, 0, negative 12, 4, 16, negative 4, 12, and negative 8. So here are our two matrices. Now, as I said in our addition video, all we need to do is add the two values that correspond with each other on the matrices, and then just add them together. And then we're going to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 after we're done. So as I can see, I get negative 1, and I'm going to get positive 7, I'm going to get 18, negative 18, 7, 19, negative 7, um, 21, and negative 14. So that's our matrix that we got. And next thing we want to do is you just want to find out the determinant of it. So you're just going to use what you found out in my other video. And so first thing you want to do is copy these first two columns onto the other side. So it's going to be negative 1, negative 18, negative 7, 7, 7, and 21. So now we have to find out the first diagonals, which I have here. And this is our other diagonal. So as I said, what we have to do is now we just need to multiply everything inside of that thing. Since I have a time limit here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this calculator. I'm going to use the calculator here. And so I'm going to multiply 1, negative 1, times 7, times 19. Oops, times 14. So I'll just redo that quickly. Negative 1 times 7 times 14, negative 14, and I get 98. So 98, if I quickly just do the other things, so it'll be 7 times 19 times negative 7. It's equal to negative 931. And the last one is. 18 times negative 18 times 21. Some really big numbers we have here. Negative 6,804. So now we're going to do the exact same thing except with the opposite diagonals. Just quickly do it. And it's going to be 7, oops, 7 times negative 18 times negative 14 which is equal to 1764 um the next one is 21 times 19 times negative 1 but i'm just going to say negative 399 and then the last but not least is going to be 18 times 7 times negative 7 and that's equal to negative 882. Now what you want to do is you want to subtract these numbers from this and you will you have to write it like this. So a is equal to negative 6 804 plus 98 minus 931 in parentheses and then you subtract it by everything that's in here. So negative 882 399 and 1764. So that, you just simplify it and you'll have your determinant. So if I quickly do that, I'll get 
minus 6804 plus 98 minus 931 is equal to negative 7637 and then you're just going to subtract that by Um, then you're just going to subtract that by 882 minus 399 plus 1764, which is equal to 483. So after that, basically, I'm just going to subtract it simply. So 7637 minus 483. So my final determinant is a really large number, but is equal to minus 8,120. I hope this video came handy to you, and please like and subscribe to the video, watch my other videos, and thank you for watching.